CataractCoach.com. Why has the capsular bag collapsed during cortex removal? This is a continuation of yesterday's case, which was video 322, in which the patient had an inadvertent puncture of the capsule at the lens capsular bag equator. And so the surgeon at this point is a resident who's operating who has no idea of this. So right about where that purple ink mark is on the top left side of your screen, that's where it's punctured. So now the IA probe's in the eye and cortex removal's happening. And what we're noticing is that the anterior chamber seems really, really shallow. And why would it seem so shallow during cortex removal? Well, there's some, obviously, there's some, some pressure from behind. It could be posterior pressure from a variety of causes. In this case, you can tell that area has been ripped open. The surgeon at this point doesn't realize that that's capsule that's being damaged. And so in this situation, fluid from the IA probe is going through the open part of the posterior capsule and going into that anterohyloid space. And what's happening is that's causing the posterior pressure. So the anterior chamber is shallow, the capsular bag has collapsed, and it's very difficult to remove the lens cortex at this point. So very careful with the cortex removal, the surgeon proceeds, and it's just difficult to do. And again, here's another clue. Look carefully in the anterior vitreous at that anterior hyaluronic face, there's already lens material, little tiny lens fragments. Not very significant, they could be there and could be uh, dissolved in the inflammatory cascade with time. But see that? The surgeon keeps grabbing the capsule inadvertently because the capsule bag has collapsed. It's just very shallow. Now, an attempt was made to deepen the eye, increase the infusion pressure, increase the bottle height, decrease the outflow aspiration rate. All those things can help. But now, that was a mistake too. Coming out of the eye inadvertently, have to do it to switch over to this bimanual approach. Now it seems easier to remove the cortex with a bimanual approach because the infusion can be placed above the capsular bag and then the, the aspirator can go in the capsular bag. But what's not understood by the surgeon at this point is it's a, an open capsular bag there. Look at all the particles in the vitreous and see how they move over to that yeah, the purple ink mark. The particles move with the purple ink mark because that's where the vitreous is prolapsing. There's the hole right at the tip of the purple mark. That's the poster capsule. That is the round hole. And because it's at the equator of the capsule bag, it's hard to see. So even now, it's hard to see that. What should you do at this point? Well, the main question is, do you know the capsule's violated? And for this surgeon, he's not aware of that at this point. And so... The decision has been made to proceed with the surgery. So now the IOL is going to be implanted. It's a single piece toric lens. That's what the ink mark was for, to line up the toric lens. But the problem is, we can't put this in the capsular bag. This capsular bag is severely compromised. That hole in the periphery already has vitreous prolapse through it. And so even though we're able to place the lens in the capsular bag, and it seems okay, when we attempt to remove the viscoelastic from the eye, we're going to end up with more capsule compromise, and it's just not going to bear well for this patient. So there's rotating the lens around, and just where that haptic has to go is at the point where the capsule's compromised. So it looks okay now, but it's not going to stay okay. And so there you see the anterior, the the capsule has been broken, the anterior hyaluronic face has been compromised, that is a larger and larger rent in the posterior capsule. Now we can tell for sure. Right at the tip of that ink mark, there's a large hole there. This is not going to hold up well. So the key take-home message is this is a ruptured capsule from invertent poke with the phaco probe because it couldn't separate the two nuclear halves to pull them out of the capsule bag. And now with this lens in there, the question is, will it be stable?